For those of you who are fans of old comics, of old uh, things that you could get out of the newspaper or in the, in the various comic books that you could buy at one point, you're probably familiar with the Calvin and Hobbes series. Maybe you're not, but Calvin was a little boy and Hobbes was his, his toy tiger that used to come to life and talk to him, basically. And uh, Calvin had a game that he made up that he called Calvin Ball. And the concept behind Calvin Ball was really pretty simple. The rules are whatever I make up at the moment. And there's a lot of that going on in the modern day. And I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about not exactly that concept, but about the idea of playing dirty with regard to that. And that's why I did this piece titled today, It's Not Playing Dirty on the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host, and today is Wednesday, the 22nd of December of 2021. Welcome to everyone who's here on Rumble on the podcast and on YouTube. Thank you for coming along today. Remember, Rumble is my preferred platform, and the subject for today is it's not playing dirty, as I've already said. I'm going to go ahead and go through my notes to kind of give you an idea what I'm talking about. I think it should be pretty plain already, but I really want to kind of stress a couple of things, and so I've carefully sort of put those in my notes, and then we'll talk a little bit about everything after I'm done with the notes. You may think it's plain dirty to expect your adversaries to live up to the same expectations they put in place for you. Let's be fair. Sometimes they put up as valid considerations, just aren't. At times, they're illegal or even immoral. I'm not saying every time someone expects for others to act or speak in specific ways, you ought to, they ought to follow through. If that's the case, it's kind of unreasonable to expect the folks setting those benchmarks to live up to them either. That said, it's not improper to point out the folly they're laying out there as if it's reasonable. And by the way, it's not plain dirty to either expect them to live up to reasonable lines they've drawn or to point out the silliness they're advocating as appropriate in terms of what their adversaries, and more importantly, they, should live up to, because they should be living up to whatever they put out there as well, right? I get that you may think it's reasonable to, quote, be the bigger person, end of quote. Maybe sometimes that's even true. That said, Pointing out what others are selling is neither unreasonable nor playing dirty, whether it's reasonable or unreasonable what they're selling. By the way, it really isn't playing dirty to use rules you would expect to be reasonable when you're looking at folks who are on your team on those you're up against. It's not at all unreasonable to expect them to live to the same standards that you live to. Too many times, folks on the right have caved and stepped away from public life while just allowing though uh, those on the other side to do the very same things or worse they're accused uh, accusing those those, those pe- people stepping away for, of doing right uh, am i saying it was wrong to walk away when you're doing something you were doing something you ought not to have been doing not at all even so it's not okay to let others shame you out of public life while having a plethora of folks they support doing things, or them, they themselves, doing things as bad or worse, uh, as or as bad as or worse than, right, uh, what you do. It's fine to be the bigger person. For my part, though, I don't consider it whataboutism to lob that grenade as you're walking away. You're doing the right thing by walking away, right? The others in question, they're not. They're not doing the right thing and don't care about it. And let me get something clear here. It's not about sauce for the goose. That ain't what it's about, boys and girls. It's about having decent, reasonable, virtuous individuals working in behalf of the people they supposedly represent. That's what it's about. If you have a problem with that, suffice it to say we're going to disagree. Pointing out that folks are not living to the standards uh, by which you or others are supposedly disqualified is not playing dirty, nor is acting on that fact. So taking them out of office or whatever. So one of the interesting things that's happened reasonably, I'm done with my notes, as you may have imagined. One of the, one of the interesting things that's happened reasonably, or reasonably, recently, blah, 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 excuse me, is 
that Democrats have decided it's reasonable to remove um, Republican lawmakers from committees upon which they reside as if it's not something that the Republicans should be doing. This is new. It is not. I'm not saying it's never been done before, but I'm saying the general tendency is new. As a rule, it is expected that if a Republican lawmaker is doing something improper while they're on a committee or something that's considered bad enough that they shouldn't be on whatever committees they're on, that's something for the Republican leadership in Congress to decide. It's not something for the Democrats to decide as a rule. I'm not saying it never has happened. I don't know. I would have to look back in history myself to know for sure. But I know that in general, that's not a thing. So when they, when the uh, Democrats remove Republicans that they consider to be radical, which I hate to tell you this, but most Democrats, not all by any means, but most Democrats are radical. So when they remove supposedly uh, radical Republicans from committees and things of that sort, you can be sure that that's not a reasonable thing for them to be doing without the Republican leadership having their hands in that in that pie. It's just not. And there are a, a thousand other things. As I've said before, well, again, people who aren't even lawmakers like Dinesh D'Souza being tossed in jail for things that nobody else was tossed in jail for before, or very few people, and in situations where they could easily sort of atone for what they've done without it being a, a huge deal or or just say, I will never do that again because they weren't aware that they were, say, for example, breaching particular laws. And I'm going to say this again. This is not just something for politics. If there are, for example, black folks out there who are being jailed for things that white folks aren't being jailed for, and you can look at the cases and say it's the same thing, the case is, is virtually identical or so close that it really doesn't matter. That shouldn't be happening there either that the black folks should be going to jail when white folks aren't either. You should either be putting the white folks in jail or you should be not putting the black folks in jail. It works all the way across the board. It is not playing dirty to say that you should live up to these rules if I should. And that's why if a, if a black person says, look, I'm looking at these cases, these cases look the same to me. Uh, um, you know, why is the white guy walking and the black guy going to jail? Well, maybe it's his rap sheet. Maybe it's uh, uh, circumstances that you're not considering. But on the other hand, maybe they're the same. And maybe those two really should be looked at. And we should realize that it's nothing like playing dirty to say that that individual is pointing that out. If, in fact, it's reasonable what they're saying. That's not not a problem to me. And I don't see why anybody would consider it such. And I hope that when people talk about injustice in that regard, whether it's with regard to lawmakers or whether it's with regard to black folks who end up in jail when white folks don't doing the same, don't having done the same thing, right? Whatever it is, I hope that people want, uh, realize that that's not playing dirty to do that. And it's not what about ism to me either. If the black person is serving time for doing something wrong and a white person did the same thing and is in basically the same in terms of their rap sheet and the circumstances of the crime or whatever are basically the same as well, it is not what about ism to say, okay, but look at this person who did not have this happen to them. You either need to let that black person out of jail or you need to put the white, the white guy in jail, one or the other. And like I say, the same applies for lawmakers and other such circumstances and situations. It's not playing dirty to bring up the fact that two people are being treated unequally when they're in basically the same situation. I get that there can be nuances and differences, not trying to say that that's not the case. But if there aren't, it's not playing dirty to bring that up. And it's not what about is either. Not if that's what's going on there. Okay. I need to go ahead and wrap up. This is the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Kurt. And today is Wednesday, the 22nd of December of 2021, middle of the work week for a lot of us who are doing the standard work week. Tomorrow then is Thursday, the 23rd of December of 2021, coming ever closer to the weekend to Christmas and ever closer to the end of the year, as I've said a number of times already. 
Uh, thank you for everyone who's been here on Rumble, on the podcast, and on YouTube. Remember, Rumble is my preferred platform. You can give me a boxing glove or a Rumble on Rumble if you want to do that. Uh, to show support, you can give me a plus also on Rumble to show that you like my content and think that it's worth your time and effort. You can obviously give me a minus if that's not the case and you choose to do so. On YouTube, you can give me a thumbs up or a like if you like my content. And if you don't like my content, you can give me a thumbs down or a dislike. Uh, anywhere that I put my content, you can, if you choose to do so, comment if comments are available. I will do everything that I can to look at the comments, particularly if I'm notified of them. And if I feel it's reasonable, I will respond to whatever it is that you say. I will do everything that I can to internalize what you say and to consider it. And if I consider that it's worth really making changes and so forth over, I will do that. Uh, the subject for today has been it's not playing dirty. And tomorrow we're going to talk about the establishment clause in the Constitution. Congress shall shall establish no religion, etc., etc. And I have a kind of an interesting take on that that I brought out before with regard to the First Amendment. And I and I want and other potentially other amendments as well. And I want to take the time to kind of expound on that concept tomorrow, particularly with regard to that establishment clause. Hope you're having a good day today. Hope everything is going well for you, and hopefully we will see you again on Thursday's edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video is recorded on Wednesday, the 22nd of December of 2021. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional and maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurt's Re Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with a with an S dot kpshubert.com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert.com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the Daily Summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.